Storm vs Sniper matchup can be played two ways, as with most encounters for Storm. Against less skilled snipers, or if your team has potential roamers, Storm can play aggressively, prioritizing Overload and performing Vartex combos as early as 3. Freeze the lane at your high ground as often as possible, and just outtrade the sniper with overloaded hits, going for Vortex combo as soon as he drops a shrapnel. Sniper is squishy, and it is easy to keep him on the lower end of HP pool, so anytime your rover comes by, it should be a secured kill. Smarter snipers will, however, know their limits and will only go aggressive under shrapnel charge or from high ground. And once their advantage is over, the wave will be pushed, so they are also out of danger. A fairly standard hit and run playstyle. Against these kind of matchups, I will forego harassing Sniper directly, focus on my farm, and simply remove him from the equation once I am level 6. This is exactly what I'll be doing on screen too. No longer am I skilling Vortex, I will have chi points in both Overload and Remnant to safely secure overloaded hits and jungle efficiently too. Now, as for the laning itself, in both cases your biggest threat will be Shrapnel. It deals significant passive damage and allows Sniper to right-click you as your movement speed will be diminished inside it. However, the spell is very predictable. You want to hang around a creep wave, Sniper wants to hang around a creep wave, so logically, for harassment purposes, he will cast it on top of both waves. If your HP is high and you won't hang around the wave for long, you can tank the shrapnel and use remnants for fast wave clear. Otherwise, hitting overloads is your next best bet. And, best of all, shrapnel ticks at an easily predictable damage, so you should have no problem denying the range creeps most of the time. This is pretty much the whole laning phase. Wait out shrapnel, then either trade or push until level 6. Now, in this particular matchup, I managed to make two mistakes in a row that have hampered my kill potential. If you're not a dumbass like me, you should be able to style on the sniper as early as level 6. I, however, forgot to skill Vortex at 5 and managed to misclick learning my ultimate at 6. However, once everything was in order, Sniper was nothing more than a mild nuisance. So in short, select your playstyle, survive until 6, enjoy 1 mid. Good luck. The battle yeah, resumes! Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double kill. Radiance bottom towers got problems. Radiance middle tower is under attack. No whining now. Warning! Killing 
spree. Killing spree. Double kill. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Looking for me. Dominating, I guess. I'm your god too. You blew it. Stupendous. A dominating perform mega kill. Double kill. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. They're unstoppable. Impossible. If you were a millennial, I'd say Ultra wicked kill. sick. Radiance middle tower could use some. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiant structures have been snow fortified.
Killing spree. Radiance bottom towers got problems. Dominating, I guess. Where's the party? An exquisite tux. No whining now. <laughs> Denied. Mega kill. From tower. Radiant's bottom tower is no more. I'm getting a second wind. Oh. They're unstoppable. Is Radiant going to let their bottom barracks fall? You're attacking Radiant's bottom barracks. That was unreal. Double kill. <laughs> Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom barracks have fallen. 